Welcome to Licks and Bites. Today's episode is a savory fry recipe. These light, mellowed spice crisp fries, roasted to perfection until honey brown, are a great snack. It is our RV fry, also known as taro roast. This perfect evening snack is best served as a side or goes well stand alone. Known in Tamil as Sepa Kalanga, widely known to the world as Taro or Edo is our ingredient of the day, Colocasia. In India, it is known as Arbi in Hindi, Kuchu in Bangla, Chamber in Malayalam. The names are endless. The Chinese, Caribbeans, and Polynesians have been using this in their diet, making curries, sweets, and even tea. In Spain, they call it malanga. Today's recipe is a very easy one with very minimal ingredients, no jazzy procedures. With no further delay, let's jump in. The taro may contain some dirt or mud clinging to it. To clean them well, soak them in water for a few minutes. Give it a rub to clean them first. Let's add in some water to these already soaked and washed arvi, which we have kept ready to cook. Raw taro contains proteases and oxalates which can cause stinging or burning sensation in your mouth. Cooking deactivates these compounds. Let these taro be fully immersed in water. Now, time to bring it to a boil and cook them until soft. These edible comb or bulbo tubers are short, vertical, swollen underground plant stems. Please note, these need to be well cooked and cannot be consumed raw. Ideal as a best substitute for our potato, this starch-sugared vegetable has a mildly sweet taste. Loved by the vegans around the world, it's a great carb substitute with high fiber ratio. Time to check our tarils if they are done. No. It's just yet to get more softer. The sides are soft, but the core is hard yet. A little more wide and it will be done. Okay, it's done now. The knife can pass through like it were a piece of butter. Time to fish out our tados now. Add some cold water to stop further cooking and it makes things easy for us to peel off the skin. Just make a slit halfway through and peel the skin off. With no great effort, the skin will leave the side. be a little slimy to do this but trust me you will be rewarded at the end We have peeled off all the edos now. To a wok, we shall add some cooking oil generously. These need to be roasted, so a little extra oil is a must at this stage. Taro contains a typical type of starch named resistant starch. 
which both slows down digestion and reduces blood sugar spikes after meals, making it a perfect choice for a diabetic diet. Now keep the stove in simmer and stir in very gently, a few times only if it's required. Too much of stirring will break the already part cooked tutorials to go squishy and you will end up with more of a mashed taro instead. When the taro start to get the toasted colors, let's add in the spices. A teaspoon of turmeric, a tablespoon of red chili powder, and a little salt to season it. I will be adding a teaspoon of coriander powder too which is optional. Stir the powdered spices well to incorporate it in the dish. Now reduce the heat to simmer and cook until it changes the color to light golden brown. Cook a while longer until red crispy outers form like a burnt honey. When you start to see that color of browns and red it's done. You can stop cooking and serve it. Optionally, you can add a teaspoon of oil in a pan. Toss some mustard seeds in it and let it crack up. Then add a handful of curry leaves and fry it until crisp. Mix this to the arve. It will give you a better flavor. Hope you enjoyed this simple recipe of RV fry from us. Do try this egg dough or taro roast which is really a delicious treat. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Do hop in to check what we post next. Until next time, we bring your recipes worthy of flicks and bites. Hafsa here, waving you a tata. Jimbu in Malayalam. The Chinese call it curry beans and <laughs> Chinese, Caribbeans, Pauline and Pauline. <laughs>